welcome to Tips of the Nation. My name is Rebel Soul, aka the Black Hippie, aka the branding specialist of the Indie Nation. And today I'll be bringing you a few quick tips on merchandising. Be unique to your style. Your style is your style and your fans want to be just like you. So if you wear a lot of hoodies, make hoodies. If you wear a lot of t-shirts, make t-shirts. If you like teddy bears, make a teddy bear. If you smoke a lot of weed, make lighters. My point is, is that your fans want to be like you and you're not like everybody else. So brand for you what's for you, not what everybody else is doing. Keep the logo on the shirt unique also. If you have a dope logo such as this one, that would be great as well. But there's a if there is a specific catchphrase that you use, you can also put that on the shirt as well. Or if there's a favorite picture that you have, you can put that on the shirt. Or I keep saying shirt because everybody keeps printing shirt but you can put that on your merchandise also you don't have to just stick to your one brand's logo you can also stick to things that are unique to your brand as well It will also help you with your merchandising and the products that you put out. For instance, if your market's mainly women, then you're going to want to have little leotards, tank tops, and things like that. If it's mainly men, t-shirts, hoodies. If you have a lot of weed smokers, you'll make lighters. And number two, it'll help you set your price point. Um, if you think about it, if the people that you're selling to won't even spend 99 cents to buy your song, they're not exactly going to spend $35 on a t-shirt. So if you have that type of demographic, you might want to lower your price point down to maybe $10 or $15. Ask a fellow artist to rock your shirt or rock your merchandise. Go on live, play your song, play the shirt, tell them where they can find it. They're opening up their audience to you and you do the same thing for them. If you cross promote, that is another audience for you to tap into. They don't know you, you don't know them. Another great way to cross promote is to do it with someone, uh, an artist who speaks a different language to you. So now that's a whole different demographic that you are opening your world to because now they may not understand your music, but they might like your shirt. It's a great way to make sales. A lot of people do it. Like you see, Nike uses a lot of sports stars, LeBron, Jordan. Now they're selling a lot of shoes because people who like sports and people who love LeBron are now going to buy their shoes. That's cross promotion. It works both ways. Collaborate with a local designer. They can give you different logo ideas and again, both of you cross promote. You're now open to their audience, they're open to your audience as well. Collaborating with a local designer is also good as well because you can come up with multiple um, different designs for your brand. Music is a great way to sell anything. That's why you see a lot of rappers um, endorsing drinks and food and things like that. So you're actually helping them and they can help you as well. You can help them open up their audience to who they are and they can help you design your merchandise. So we win. Limiting your stock creates a sense of urgency with your customers. They feel like they don't want to miss out. As childish as it sounds, it actually really works. Take Supreme for instance, that's how they've become such a huge worldwide brand with such a high price point. It becomes a, a collector's item because it doesn't come out again and if it does, they'll wait for a couple of seasons and see how how sought after that product was or is and then they may or may not bring it back out again. a lot of rappers and singers these days especially rappers have started putting most of their effort into selling their merchandise people think because the money's going to come quicker that way they'll sell t-shirts instead of putting that money into let's say studio time hand out those shirts to the crowd or to that one audience member that seems to be really engaged with you give them a shirt and it's almost just like a part of you going with them then now they're wearing the shirt they're promoting the shirt and that makes you sell the shirt even more like for instance smoky santana i went to his video shoot i got a shirt i love this shirt and i couldn't tell you how many places i've been where people are like where'd you get that shirt from i got the shirt from the artist but now he's selling them to remember that your shirt is only an asset to your brand just an asset asset only you're not a t-shirt salesman thank you guys for tuning in to tips of the nation i hope my tips for merchandising will help you get a lot of sales uh, leave your comments below with suggestions if you have a shirt that you want me to rock on my show then i definitely will do that send that out to me the address is below again i'm rebel soul aka the black hippie aka the indie nation's branding specialist Bye. Open up, shut it, now I'm